Right, so we've got an exciting day today. We've come to another dealer event where we got a nice hands-on experience. We're trying machines from Elite, AS Motor and Copal. So we'll run through a load of machines here today. Not in detail, but it will give you a good broad overview of what we can have access to. We'll start off with some of the Elite machinery, put it through its paces. The other big exciting thing that we'll see today is some of the new Ego equipment that's going to be fitted to the AS Motor stuff. James has already done a brief overview when he went to Soltex the other day, but we're really excited to see that. So carry on watching and we'll get to that in a moment. So we'll start off trying some of these fantastic scab fires. So my handy cameraman comes over, just take a quick look. So this is Scarify and this is taking all the rubbish out of the ground. And as you can see here, we're on agricultural ground, so it's going to be fairly thick anyway. But the principle behind it is you're cutting into the ground, you're slitting the ground, letting it in the air get into it, drying it out, but also at the same time pulling all the crap out. If you subscribe to our channel, we'll keep bringing you all these product videos. But I'd just like to do a quick point out on this machine. What makes it different to a lot of other machines on the market is the system, how it actually starts the blades up. So a lot of them, they have a pulley system or a clutch, which you do have quite a lot of belt wear on. Whereas this machine here, you've got a loose belt. And when you go to engage the blades, which is this lever here, actually tips the engine up and actually pulls that belt tight. So you get less belt wear. There we go, there's some of the uh, elite fine turret machines. We're gonna pop over to the shredders now and talk you through some of those. Right, so we got over to the shredder area and one thing that we've been really looking for is a semi-commercial high-end domestic slash estate shredder from Elite and they've now brought this one to market which will be available next year. It's the Vector uh, 4S. This is a self-feed shredder which will take up to three inches of material. It's a really, really decent bit of kit. Obviously, typical Belgian construction, a lot of metal work, very, very good blade chopping principle, which if you subscribe to our channel, we'll show you some other shredders and how they work as well from the range. But yeah, we're really looking forward to giving this one a go. So carry on watching, we'll put some stuff through it. Because your natural instinct is to think that this is a safety bar and it's not this this bar is actually what controls your forward and reverse on your feed roller right. so where your instinct is yeah. that's going to stop but this is your emergency stop and unlike these machines so if you hit the emergency stop on these machines it stops your feed roller but it keeps the engine running if you hit the emergency stop on this one it just kills the machine dead it kills the um, engine so but other than that like i said the drive system uh, is the same So we come to the part of the day where I've been looking forward to it the most. This is to try out the AS Motor Ego power plant mowers. The Ego engine unit, should we say, that James showed you at Soltex has been fitted onto the AS Motor range. We've got three models. We've got the AS510 Mulcher. We've got the AS531 rear clack machine or rear dump as well with the grass box. 
and we got the AS63 high grass mower. So three fantastic bits of kit from AS Motor, which obviously combined with the Ego power plant makes for a fantastic bit of kit. But the proof is gonna be in the pudding. We've got comparable petrol models to go up against these, so you can actually see the difference in the power performance. These battery units will be able to take two batteries and the pack pack battery as well. So we'll get these, get these things going. We've uh, obviously lucky enough to, to have our hands on these, be one of the first in the UK see what they're all about and you know you'll be able to buy these from next year they'll be available to purchase in the uk so let's um let's crack to it and give them a go The new AS Motor AS62E, weighing in at 69 kilos, with a developed 56 volt motor from the world renowned Ego brand. 3,200 watts of power equivalent to a 200cc combustion engine, combining this all with a heavy duty mulching blade system. It's a sturdy machine. We always use metal for our machines. With our plates on the engine. Now with plates. Well, I was impressed. I hope you were. I think that Ego power plant on that AS Motor products, well, all three of them, absolutely sublime. There's so much power. When you compare that to the petrol machines, the petrol machines are cutting out. The thing with battery and the torque is petrol machines will stay at a certain RPM or an idle RPM, so that could be 2829. Obviously, when you put it into load, that might drop down to 2425, so you're actually dropping the engine revs. With the power plants on the Egos, or a lot of battery equipment, it will stay up around that 2.8 mark. So if it needs more power, it will just draw it. And that's why in challenging conditions like today, that Ego product and the AS motor is absolutely fantastic. But here in our industry, we don't just have normal mowers. We have flails, we have sides, we have ride-ons. So we're gonna go on to the rest of the AS motor range that they do and talk to you through those and show you some demonstrations. Even land, brush cutter, nice machine, strong machine. Strongest single model. 70th century. So if you aren't all aware, we do keep the AS and Elite products in our showroom and what a fantastic lineup we've got. There is a huge array of products from these two companies. So if you haven't already, click onto our website, hazemachinery.co.uk to view the range. Now we've got to the point in the video where we give our subscriber giveaway and it's very, very simple. You just gotta be in it to win it. Click that subscribe button. Every single video that we do, we will be giving away a prize gift. Now this week's gift winner is Big Friendly Gardener. Congratulations to you. Drop us an email or a comment and we'll get these goodies away to you. So let's get back to the video. 
Right, I'm not going to bore you with loads of talk, but we're in the forest area now and we got the Sherpas and the Yak from AS Motor. Now the Yak is a flail ride-on and the Sherpas are like a scythe or oh, metal bladed cutting system. You see what it does from the videos and the demonstrations we're going to do. And then if you've got any queries, give us a call or click on our website Hayes Machinery and you can view the range. Cheers. The AS1040 Yak XL with 23 horses of raw Briggs and Stratton power, included with a surfing mowing flail deck which adapts to rough and uneven terrain. It's built like a tank with full underbody protection for the steering and drivetrain and on demand limited slip differential for excellent traction. Right, so we're at the real boys toys part of the day now so we're going to bring you some of the copal machines that we've got on offer to demonstrate here today um, as you can see we've got the crawler down there like something out of robot wars what a bit of kit that is that's got a flail head on it and that will literally climb mountains so have a look at it down there going through some of that brass pretty impressive the Copal Crawler, powering its implements up to 960 RPM with a 23 horsepower twin cylinder engine. Various attachment options working up to 50 degrees, all controlled from a remote control. Robot Wars eat your heart out. We'll have a quick look at the battery side mower. So this is a great option if you're environmentally friendly. Obviously a lot of side mowers, people are using them. If you haven't seen my previous video of the AS600, I talked to you about wildflower meadows. That's quite a big trend now. But obviously battery, that's a real trend setter. So um, yeah, let's have a quick look at this one and we'll give this a try as well. We have Lux Hydro, that's that machine there. This is on an 18 horsepower key start petrol engine, and we've got the copper crawler on a 23 horsepower EFI <coughs> injected engine. <coughs> So there we go, that's the end of the day and that's all wrapped up. We've had a fantastic day here today, trying all these new machines and all the stuff that's still current as well. So I thought I'd end the video sat here next to the biggest machine we've had to go on, the Copal Crawler. Thank you so much once again for joining us. If you want to consider subscribing to our channel, please click that link and uh, subscribe and we'll keep bringing you all the content. But many thanks once again and we'll see you in the next one.